All right, friends, here we are starting off laying down on your back. So give yourself some time just to get on the floor <laughs> and spread yourself out. Allowing the whole back of your body to just relax, smooshing onto the ground. It feels nice and easy. And notice how easy it is to breathe deeply when you're lying down. You can really expand your ribs up and open with each inhale. And you could focus on that inward contracting rib movement on the exhale. And easy to notice the same movement in the belly as well. Inhale, inflate the belly. And exhale, use all the muscles that wrap around the belly. Compress it inward. Working with that breath power. Take a few more rounds of breath. Big breath in. Big exhale. Would you, with each breath, see if you could notice a little more softness and ease in your arms and legs. In your chest and your back. Your spine, your hips. Even your face and your scalp. Soft, soft. Okay, this is a really nice time to just close your eyes and practice the art of being present with what is. Noticing every thought and sensation that arises from inside or outside of your mat. Just being present with what is. Watching your breath. I'm just noticing the moment unfolding without expectations or judgment or a sense of doing at all. As we begin to move, keep that focus on that long, slow breath, just being present with what is. Okay, bring your arms out into a cactus shape here. And we'll just get a little bit twisty. Feel free to really tuck those big flat shoulder blades underneath your heart, lift them up. Or lift your, lift your shoulder blades up and feel your heart kind of lift up and open while you do that too. Okay, from here we'll bring the knees to bend, point them up, the feet step by your hips and then step the feet away from each other, getting ready for some windshield wipers. So just drop those knees side to side, starting to wake up your low back and your hips. Just a little movement, nice and easy, side to side. Okay, we can keep the feet on the floor. If this is more comfortable for you, please do that. Um, no problem if you want to keep those feet down. But if you want to move this twist a little further up your spine, you can pause when your knees point up and just pick your feet up. Glue those knees together. And then you're going to think of hovering your knees to one side 
and hovering them to the other side. So we just took that same twist and we're moving it further up your spine into your middle back. And if you take care to look away from your knees each time you hover them, then we have a lovely twist that goes all the way up the spine. So take a few more breaths here, side to side, doing your best to ground those shoulders. Next time you hold your knees out to the left, just pause them there and hover them. So keep them off the ground, okay? At least a few inches. As you hover those knees, do your best to lift your heart up to the sky, grounding your upper body. Look into the right, keep breathing. One more breath here as you hover those knees, stretching out the side of your body in this twist. And then let's switch sides. Bring those knees through center, hover them on the right, look to the left and press your shoulders down. Lift your heart and breathe. Holding this twist. Maybe one more breath here. All right, let's bring the knees back into center. Give them a hug here. You can grab behind your thighs if you want, or you can grab your shins. Either way, squeeze those knees into your chest. You can even bring your forehead up towards your knees if you like the way it feels. Really neutralizing and smooshing your low back out on the ground. And now I'm going to challenge you a little bit to kind of wake up and just get active in the core. Even if you had your, your head on the ground, do go ahead and peel it up at least a little bit now. Your chin is tucked, your head and shoulders are floating, but your neck is still long. And see if you could extend one leg and then bring it back in. Extend the other leg and bring it back in. Now let's go side to side like that, extend and back other side extend and back now let's link breath we can inhale on the extension and exhale on the return inhale and exhale now if you want to make this easier you drop your head if you want to make it harder you move your knees a little further away from you when you're not using them we're going to do three rounds on each side inhale Two more. Last one. Bring those knees back, hold right here. I'm gonna challenge you even further. Put one hand on each thigh, push those thighs away from you and pull them back towards you at the same time. So the knees are moving towards you, the hands are trying to push them away. Roll that low back to the ground. Breathe here, activating that core. Let's try to do five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Let it go, hug your knees, release your head and rock it out on the floor. Just a little core challenge there to get you going. All right, tuck in your toes here, or sorry, uh, tuck in your toes. Tuck in your hands behind your knees. Let's rock it up, okay? And we're gonna kind of play around a little bit today. So you're gonna rock up to a seat and rock onto your feet and then pull yourself back. Let's try it a few times. Come on up. Try to throw your chest forward by your knees a few times. Come on up, get that chest forward. And now I'm gonna challenge you to do something really funky. Next time you come on up, reach forward. See if you could lift your hips a little bit. We'll try it again. You might have to use momentum. Come on up, reach forward, try to lift those hips. Now maybe you try it four or five more times and maybe it works today, maybe not, but it's good practice. Now next time, maybe you rock all the way up to standing. Maybe you help yourself up, who knows, okay? But either way, come on up, Whew. okay? Really nice uh, wake up for your core. Okay, reaching up here, big breath in. 
And exhale, we're gonna hinge it all the way down. Let's do that again. Inhale, roll yourself up. Reach up. Exhale, roll it down. One more big breath in, reach it up. And exhale, roll it down. Palms come to the floor here. Inhale and step yourself back into a plank. Remember, your plank can have knees down, still a plank. Okay, walk those hands back to your feet here. Let's do the same thing we just did. Inhale, roll yourself up, lift your heart. We're gonna do it three times, okay? Exhale, hinge it down. Inhale, roll it up, number two. Exhale, hinge it down. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Palms are down, inhale to your plank. Exhale, walk to your hands and fold. We're gonna do two more rounds just like that. Okay, inhale up. Exhale, roll it down. Again, inhale. And exhale, just warming your spine, warming your back body. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Palms down, inhale, step it back to plank. Exhale, hands walk to the back of the mat. Let's go, inhale, roll it up. Exhale, fold it down. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Nice, palms down, inhale, walk it forward to plank. And exhale, feet walk to hands and fold. Here's our last round. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, hinge it down. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more. Exhale. Palms are down. Inhale, step it back to plank. And exhale, hands walk to feet. Last time, inhale, roll it up. Exhale, hinge it down. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale, roll it down. Palms are down. Take a moment here, just bend your knees and let yourself hang, you can swing it. We'll swing side to side. It might feel good to join your hands behind your back here. You can interlace your fingers, move them away from your head. Ah, feels good to just let the spine hang. And as you sway side to side, really start to make it kind of caricature just almost a little too much sway. Then we really sway over one leg, you really sway over the other. And then bend a lot more into that left knee, and straighten more in the right so that you're hanging over your left knee. Now pause here, this is kind of a funky position but check it out. You can bend your knees more or less if you need to, but see if you could rest that left shoulder on the left thigh and look to the right. So we are in an inverted twist here. Hold and breathe. Letting your spine hang a little bit more open on the right side than the left. Letting your head hang soft. As you're ready, bend the right knee more than the left. Extend the left knee more and let your right shoulder kind of rest on the right thigh. Look to the left and breathe. In this hanging twist, the left side is a little longer than the right. Very nice, bring it back to center here. Drop those palms to the floor. And inhale, walk your hands forward. Find a plank. Exhale here and press it up and back to your downward facing dog. Come on up. In your down dog, take some time to make it kind of movable. Move your hips around, move your shoulders. 
shake your head. Just kind of explore all the places you can move to from this position. Keep in mind that for down dog, you can bend your knees a lot and you can always drop your knees and just take a break if you need one. Okay. But in this uh, downward facing dog, we won't spend a whole lot more time. We're just going to get warm from here and get, uh, get flowing. So inhaling here, let's get that right leg up in the sky. Remember to keep your hips level as much as you can. And exhale here, bring that right knee forward and drop it outside your right hand. We're going to flow a little bit from here. Come on up into your lunge. Okay, take a big breath in. Reach all those hands up in the sky. And I just want to take a moment to just stabilize in your lunge. If you want to drop the back knee, you can always drop the back knee. So no problem there. Um, whether the back knee is up or down, please activate your lunge by pushing the floor down, pulling those knees inward. Strong legs. So keep your strong base, tailbone pointed down. And then inhale here. Think of lifting, peeling your heart up and open. We're going to flow. Exhale here. Bow your heart forward. Reach those hands back like you're bowing over the right leg. Inhale all the way back up to that crescent lunge. Okay, and here with your exhale, you're going to dip the back knee low to the floor if you had it up. Let's do that little mini flow again. Inhale, lift the back knee up to your crescent lunge. Exhale, bow your heart, reach back, just like before. Inhale, back to the crescent lunge. Exhale, dip the back knee really low. One more thing. Inhale, reach, or inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, drop the heart, reach back. Inhale, back up to the crescent lunge. Exhale, drop the back knee almost to the floor. Nice. Inhale here, reaching up. One last crescent lunge. Lift your heart. And exhale, all hands down underneath your shoulders. We're back in a lunge. So let's come up through a three-leg dog. Big breath in here. Right leg up in the sky. Send it high. And exhale here. Right foot down to downward facing dog. Take a moment here, walk it out. Just notice how it feels and let's move. Inhale, move that heart forward and find a plank pose. And exhale, walk to your hands and fold. Inhale here, roll yourself up just like we did before. This time though, we're gonna insert a chair squat. So exhale, drop those hips. Lift your heart and point the knees forward. Stay here in your squat. And inhale, looking to the right. Reach behind you with your right hand. We're adding a twist. Stay in the squat. Stay in the squat. As you exhale, back to center. Drop lower. Inhale to the left. Open your arms wide. Look over the left shoulder. Stay in the squat. Exhale, back to the squat. Drop lower. Inhale all the way up to standing. Lift your heart. And exhale, hinging at your hips. Fold it all the way down. Halfway up on your inhale, you might bend those knees to look forward. And exhale, fold deeply. Hug your legs. All right, palms come down to the floor here. Inhale and step it back to your plank. Okay, exhale here. See how slowly you could lower yourself down to the ground. For your inhale, a little cobra. Pull that heart forward and open. Pull back on your hands. Squeeze the elbows in. And exhale, downward facing dog. Come on up and back. Okay, take a moment in your down dog. And then we'll move to the other side. So you can always skip those little vinyasas that I do between sides. I like them just because they keep the body warm and mobile. They build strength and fluidity. But if a rest is what you need more, then please do take that rest. We can always meet up and down dog. So here in your dog, we're gonna lift the left leg up. 
So big breath in, left leg up, three leg dog. And exhale, send that left foot forward and drop it next to your left hand. So settling yourself into your lunge, take your time. Okay, once you feel strong in your legs, dropping the back knee or not, depending on what's best, come on up. Find that strength. Start pressing the feet down, push down into both feet, pull the knees toward each other and point that tailbone straight at the earth, okay? Now let's flow. Inhale, lift your heart up and open. Exhale, bow over the left leg. Reach your hands back. Again, up to the crescent lunge. Big breath in, peel that heart open. And exhale, hover that back knee close to the floor. Little hover. Let's do two more rounds, just like that. Inhale, lift the back knee, crescent lunge. Exhale, bow the heart, reach back. Inhale, lift into the crescent lunge. Exhale, hover the back knee low. We're gonna do one more round. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, heart down, reach back. Inhale, crescent. And exhale, hover that back knee nice and low. Whew, we did it. Inhale to the crescent lunge and exhale. All hands down in front under your shoulders. Okay, you're back in a lunge. Come up through a three-leg dog here. So inhale that left leg up in the sky. Three-leg dog. And exhale here, drop the left foot. Downward facing dog. Take a moment here. Shake it off. Now you could take a break here or you could come along on this little vinyasa journey I'm about to take. So you decide, yogi's choice. Here we go. Inhaling here, find a plank. Exhaling to your hands, big fold. Inhale, roll yourself up. Okay, ready to do some chair twists? Exhale, down into your chair squat, hold and breathe. Now hold the chair squat, point those knees forward. Inhale to one side, open up. Exhale, deeper into the squat. Stay in the squat, inhale to the other side. Exhale, deeper into the squat. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, all the way down. Palms are down. Inhale to your plank. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale for your cobra, peel the heart up. And exhale, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Come on up. Walk it out here. Okay. Shoulders, hips, legs, feeling a little more uh, mobile, a little more fluid, hopefully. Okay, that yoga magic doing its work. Let's keep moving. Inhaling here, let's get that right leg up in the sky. Exhaling here, right foot forward. Go ahead and drop it between your hands if you could. And if you need to take a couple steps for it to get there, that's fine. Let's drop the back heel. That's the left heel. Coming up to a warrior one. So come on up, warriors. Hold in your warrior. Now um, grab onto your hips. Okay, point the left and the right hip forward. If you notice that your left and right hip are shining a little bit to the left, pull them to point forward. You can make this a little easier by shimmying your right foot to the right and your left foot to the left. More of a railroad track stance than a tightrope stance. So either way, bend into that front knee, push into the back foot, push, push into that left foot and point the tailbone down at the earth as best you can. Okay, big breath in here. Maybe lifting your heart in your warrior one. And exhale here, drop that heart, reach the hands back. Recognize this. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, bow forward, reach back. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, 
come halfway forward and hold. So reaching forward, like you're trying to grab something in your warrior one, push the floor with your legs, reach. You can always use your right leg for support, but try to lift your belly up and away from your right leg for three, for two. Release the hands to the floor on one. Pop up the left heel, you're back in a lunge. Let's come up through three leg dog. Inhale, the right leg up in the sky. And exhale, right foot down, downward facing dog. Let's take a vinyasa, same that we did before. Take a break or come along, let's go. Inhale for your plank. Exhale to your hands. Fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, into your chair. Hold your chair. Inhale, twist to one side. Exhale, deeper into your squat. Inhale, other side. Exhale, deeper into your squat. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, all the way down. Palms are down. Inhale, back to your plank. Exhale, slowly down. Pull the elbows in. Inhale, pull the heart up for a cobra. Exhale, meet in downward facing dog. Come on up. Walk it out here. Shake it off. I like to take five or six breaths in a down dog. Just kind of feeling it. Maybe close your eyes. You can think of things that kind of help you energize the posture, like lifting the arches and the soles. Okay, lifting your arches of your feet, lifting the center of your palm. I find that helps. Okay, also think of pressing the floor away and lifting your tailbone. All right, let's move to the other side, shall we? Inhale here, let's lift the left leg up in the sky. Exhale here, left foot forward. Do your best to put it between your hands, but it's okay if you need a little extra step there, no problem. Drop that back heel, that's the right heel, and come on up. So grab those hips, warriors. Okay, face them forward. If you need to, to railroad track your feet rather than tightrope, that's great too. But do your best. Push into the back foot, bend into the front knee, and protect your low back by belly button in. Okay, here we go. Arms up in a warrior one, spreading open your chest as you inhale. And exhale here. Reach your hands back, drop your heart low. Two more. Inhale up, warrior one. Exhale, bow. Again, like that, big breath in. This time, as you reach forward, hold. Lift your belly up and away from your left thigh and sink the hips as you reach. It's challenging, but you can do it. And you can push your hands on the left leg too to make it easier. Very nice for three. Push the floor for two. Let it go on one. Hands under shoulders, pop up the right heel, and we're back in a lunge. Coming up through a three leg dog, big breath in, left leg in the sky. And exhale, left foot down, whew, downward facing dog. Here comes a vinyasa, yogi's choice. Stay or rest, or uh, stay and rest or come along. Inhale here, find a plank. Exhale to your hands and fold. Inhale, roll it up, push the floor away. Ready for some squat twists. Exhale down into your chair squat, hold the squat. Inhale, twist to one side. Exhale, back to center, drop lower. Inhale, other side. Exhale, back to center, drop lower. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, all the way down. 
palms down. Inhale to your plank. Exhale to the floor, nice and slow. Inhale for that little cobra heart. Exhale for downward facing dog. Here we are. We'll meet here. Walk the heels out. <sighs> Push that floor away. So again, five or six breaths here, just being in downward facing dog, just embodying it totally. Push the floor down, lift your belly, strong legs, strong hands. Pull the elbows inward so your neck feels very long and soft. Very nice. All right. Inhale here, let's get the right leg up in the sky. Exhale here, right knee forward. Go ahead and drop that foot between your hands. It's okay if it takes another step. Let's drop the back knee here. Oh, come on down. You can come up on your fingertips if you like. Okay, little fingertips. And then we'll rock the hips back a couple times. Press them forward and pull them back. I'm just beginning to notice, okay, we're, we're pretty warm in the legs and the low back and the hips. So this should feel nice all around the right hip, the hamstring. So next time you drop into that low lunge, hold here, okay? And then do the same thing we always do in a lunge. We're always going to, that's right, activate the legs against the floor and pull the knees in toward each other. Of course, feel free to stay down low if this is most comfortable for you. But if you're feeling fine in this lunge, press yourself up so that your upper body rises up, okay? And hold here, activating those legs, push the floor down, pull those knees inward. So with your nice active legs, we're going to move and flow in this little low lunge as well. So big breath in here, just like we did in crescent lunge, just like we did in warrior one. Big breath in, heart lifting. Exhale here, drop your fingers under your shoulders. We're going to pull the hips back, okay? Drawing the back of the right leg nice and long and point the right toes at your nose. And we'll flow like that a few more times, okay? Back to your low lunge, right foot on the floor. Inhale, all the hands up. Exhale, hands down. Pull the hips back. Right toes point at your nose. Again, inhale, bring it up. Finding that rhythm, just a little nice and easy rhythm. Okay, next time you come up, let's hold here. Just enjoying and being in this lunge. Press down in the legs, pull the knees together. Maybe you enjoy uh, grabbing your elbows. You can lift your shoulder blades away from your ribs in the back like you're trying to pull them down. Big breath. One more breath here in your low lunge. And then let it go. Drop those fingers back down under your shoulders on either side of that right leg and then pull it back and we'll hang out here for a bit. Okay, so still, still long in the spine as long as you can be. Fingers under shoulders. Maybe you slide the front foot forward a little bit. Maybe you slide the back knee back. Just make sure you're comfy and there's no strain and you're having a good time. Okay, but no matter where you are, uh, hands under shoulders, long spine, flex that right ankle, flex it nicely as if the toes wanted to touch your nose. And then remember, you can bend the knee a lot if you want to or not, but you're going to pull back on that right hip. The right hip wants to move toward the back of your space. Now hold and breathe right here. Now, believe it or not, I have another challenge for you here, which you may choose to accept. You may just skip it, but I think you can do it. So take a big breath in here. Kick the floor down, just like you're doing with that right foot. 
With your exhale, I'm gonna ask you to do something crazy. Try to lift your right foot and kick yourself in the face. It's okay if it doesn't work. It's okay if it doesn't even move. Send that motor message anyway. Drop the heel, inhale, pull back on the hip. Again, exhale, try to lift it, even if it doesn't happen. One more time, inhale, drop the heel, pull back. One last time, exhale, try to lift it for five. Keep the effort for four. Stay with it, three, don't give up, two, let it go on one. Drop that heel, whoo. We're gonna walk back up out of this, okay? So if you walk the knee back, the back knee back, walk it forward. Okay, bring yourself back into a lunge. And we'll see if we can come up to a three-leg dog from here. So tuck the right toe, sorry, tuck the left toes, the back toes, lift the back knee, and inhale that right leg up to a three-leg dog. Come on up and back. Ah, exhale here, right foot down, downward facing dog. Notice how it feels. And let's keep going. Little vinyasa in between. Then we'll do the other side. Inhaling here, find your plank. Exhaling here to your hands and fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, down into your chair squat. You know what to do. Inhale, twist. Exhale, back to it. Inhale, twist. Exhale, back to chair. Inhale, stand. Exhale, fold. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold, exhale. Palms are down, inhale to your plank. Exhale all the way down. Inhale for your cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll meet here, five or six breaths. Pushing that floor away, pulling those elbows inward. Finding strength and softness, a balance of ease and effort here. Just enough effort to be here with skill and presence. Okay, let's move to the other side. Inhaling here, let's get the left leg up in the sky. Exhale here, left foot forward. Go ahead and try to drop it between your hands. Take as many steps as you need and drop that back knee. The right knee is coming down. So down into your low lunge. You can come up on your fingertips here. Get yourself settled in. You might need to adjust your knees or placement of things. Okay, once you feel comfortable, activate those legs, put them on the clock and come on up to your low lunge, okay? You can always take a break and come down, but we're gonna flow. So inhaling all the hands up in the air. In your low lunge, lift your heart. And exhale, hands down under your shoulders, okay? Keep your spine long and pull that left hip back. Point the toes at your nose. So you can keep a bend in the left knee if you want. Let's do it again. Inhale to your low lunge. And exhale, fingertips down, pull it back. Again, inhale, lift it up. And exhale, bring it down. All right, one more time coming up here. Go ahead and lift that heart nice and high and hold and breathe. In your low lunge, you can always put your hands down and take a break, okay? But if you're feeling great, push that floor away with your legs, lift your heart, maybe grab your elbows and think of pulling them back. Remember to breathe and push the floor. One more big breath here. 
and then let it go. Dropping your fingertips under your shoulders, just like before, pull back on that left hip. And let's pause and enjoy this for a while. So I recommend you walk your hands back so they are under your shoulders because your shoulders move back. And then you're welcome to increase the distance between the front foot and the back knee if you want. Let me if that feels right. But once you're settled in, remember you can bend the left knee, you can extend it, but I want a nice flex in the left ankle. Toes trying to touch your nose. And dig down into that left heel. Really kick the floor down with the left heel and pull back on the left hip. So you're opening up the whole back of the left leg. So let's play around and play with that little challenge uh, to kick yourself, okay? So don't worry, it's almost impossible for you to actually kick yourself here so you're not in danger. Um, if you notice the foot does not even leave the floor, don't stress. Don't have expectations, just try to lift it anyway. So here we go, we're inhaling, kicking the floor down, pulling back on the left hip. Here we go, exhale, try to lift the foot off the floor, try to kick. Drop it, inhale, lift, sorry, inhale, uh, kick down. And exhale, try to lift it. Remember to use your breath. One more, inhale, kick down. One last time, exhale, lift it, hold it there for five, four, three, two, and one, let it go. Whew. Nice little challenge. Walk that back knee forward if you moved it back. Bring yourself back into a friendly little lunge with hands down under your shoulders. And we'll come up through a three leg dog from this. So tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and inhale the left leg up and back to three leg dog. Exhale here, downward facing dog. One last vinyasa, we made it. Inhale, heart moves forward to plank. Exhale to your hands and fold. Inhale here, roll it up. Last time, exhale into your chair squat. Stay there, inhale into your twist. Exhale, back to the squat. Inhale, other side twist. Exhale, deepest into your squat. Inhale, all the way up to standing. Exhale, fold it in half. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale, big fold, hug your legs. Palms are down here, inhale and step it back to a plank. Exhale all the way to the ground, pull the elbows in. And inhale for your cobra, heart up. Exhale here, downward facing dog, come on up and back. Walk it out, your last downward facing dog of this practice. Notice how different it feels. Pull those elbows inward, lift the kneecaps. Amazing work in the shoulders and the legs and the low back today. From here, walk your feet all the way to your hands. Okay, I like to just take a moment here, just bend your knees soft knee bend um, and you can pick one foot up and cross it over to the other side and then see if you can allow your upper body to really drape over your legs you can put your hands by your feet you can challenge yourself to grab your ankles if you want to work on balance but uh, take some time just to get real close to your legs And then as you're ready, we're just gonna switch the crossing. Just whatever ankle you crossed, do the other one now. Bend those knees. Remember, we don't have to lock the knees for anything to be effective. As a matter of fact, it's probably more effective if you don't lock. So get close to your legs. We 
We're gonna uncross that crossing back to uh, both feet just under your hips and then bend your knees here. Come all the way down to a seat. Come on down. <sighs> nice work, shake your legs out. Alrighty, so we are nice and fluid. We've worked on strength and mobility. And now let's get a little bit more stretchy. So if you turn sideways on your mat here with your left leg out long on one side, you can just tuck your right foot in next to your hips on the other. So I like to call this shape a half straddle because it's like you're in a straddle, but one leg is bent, okay? Keep in mind, for some folks, this, just being here, is enough. So if you're happy here and you just want to lean back on your hands, work on lifting your heart with a long spine, then you can just stay right here. It's fantastic. If everything's all right, then do your best to sit up tall, okay, without leaning back. And then ground your left fingers over by the left leg. If it's hard to extend the left leg, just put a little bend in it, no problem. Okay, start to walk those left fingers out as far as you like, and we'll get the right arm up and over. Take a little time just to breathe here, grounding into that right hip, drop that right hip to the ground. Nice breath here. I'm getting that right side stretch. Okay, from here, I wanna flip this around the other way. So what if we come up, come on up to sitting up right here, drop that right hand on the right, okay? Use what you have on the floor here and press up off the floor. Bring that left arm up overhead. So now we get a big left side stretch. Take a moment or two, take a breath or two, enjoying this side. And let's see if we can combine those two postures into one little mini flow. So drop the hips back to the floor where you just were. Okay, back to that half straddle. Let's see if we can sew these together. So inhale, move the left hand to the left, move the right hand to the left for the right side stretch. And exhale, upright, back to center. Let's go the other way. Inhale, right hand to the right. Lift the hips, left hand to the right. Exhale, back to center. Let's take that a few more times, okay? It's okay if you mix it up at first. Inhale to one side. Exhale through center. Inhale to the other side. And exhale through center. Do it maybe three more times, okay? Two or three more times, no rush. Just want you to feel a sense of spaciousness in your spine. <laughs> maybe one more on each side, just nice and slow. All right, next time your hips come back to the ground, pause there, hips come down, pause. Just grab that right knee and point it straight up. And so you'll stamp that right foot on the floor very close to you. Use both arms to hold the right leg very close. Squeeze it in close as you can to your chest. And just take a moment here. So just focus on sitting up tall and grounding your hip bones your sitting bones. Once you feel pretty grounded, start to look over that right shoulder, beginning to deepen your twist. Maybe the right fingers come behind you. I like to use them to push the floor and make myself a little taller. And if you really like the twist, you can take it deeper by taking the left elbow outside the right knee. But if you go deeper, you need to breathe deeper. So promise me you're breathing.
big breath in. Big exhale. As you're ready, untwist yourself. Okay, face out toward that left foot. And you can lean back on your hands here and drop that right knee to the floor. Back to the floor with the right knee. But so now we're in a little different shape than when we were in that half straddle. We're facing the left foot. So same as in the half straddle, if this is enough for you, just being here, just lean back and enjoy. Lift your heart and breathe. If it's going well, try to sit up without the help of your hands. Maybe bending the left knee to accommodate this a little more, okay? And you're just gonna start to walk all your fingers out towards your left foot. Think of your heart leading the way and your head almost leaning back out of the way. The heart is the boss right now. Hold and breathe. We have no destination with this movement. So wherever you are, is wherever you are. There's nowhere else to go. So it doesn't matter how close your heart gets, but move that heart toward the toes. I like to think in this posture, long spine, inhale. Kick the floor with your legs on the exhale. So actually using your legs to push down on the floor can help unlock this posture for you. Little bit of effort. Okay, take your time. There's no rush but start to walk yourself back up and out of this nice fold. Okay, leaning back on your hands, you can take a few windshield wipers. And we'll just do the other side. Okay. So everything the same, but opposite. We'll take the right leg out to the right this time for our half straddle. The left knee will be bent the left foot tucked in, okay? So walk the right fingers out to the right, start to reach the left hand overhead, and take a moment here in your side bend, okay? Keep in mind, your left hip will try to come up, so press it down a little extra. Remember to breathe. Okay, enjoying this stretch, maybe for one more breath. Making sure your neck is long, come on up and out of that. Let's get those left fingers back on the floor over here on the left. Now use what you have on the floor, lift up. Get that right arm up and over, hold here for a few breaths, long neck, big stretch. And then as you're ready, come on down and we'll start to flow between these two. So inhaling, reach to one side. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, reach the other way, hips up. Exhale, back to center. It's okay if you mix them up. As long as you're moving and breathing and you're happy, I'm happy. Nice breath, finding a little flow, a little cool down. Feeling your breath slow down. Maybe two more on each side. One more on each side. All right, next time you come down, pause there, grab that left knee, pick it up and give it a hug. Squeeze it into your chest, lift, make yourself long and start to twist by looking over that left shoulder. 
okay? You can use the left fingers behind you, get a little taller. You can hook the right elbow outside the knee. Wherever you are, please breathe deeply. Maybe one more breath here. And then bring it back through center. Okay, last thing, drop that left knee back to the floor, face out to the right foot. Okay, you can lean back and just settle into this if you want. And also keep in mind, you can lift the right knee and just fold over more easily for the hamstring. But start to walk your fingers out towards your right foot. Think of the heart leading. The shoulders and the head are just trying to stay out of the way. Remember, long spine, inhale. Kick the floor down, exhale. Okay, take your time walking up out of this and then let yourself come all the way, all the way down to your back. Come all the way down. Okay, close your eyes here. It's time to rest. So eyes closed, let your hands and feet and your arms and legs just be floppy and soft. And let your breath slow down too. I'm taking a little time just to notice everything around you, being present and resting. So I think I ran a little bit over today, um, but please continue resting as long as you can, as always. Okay, the longer the better. Thanks so much for joining me, guys.